series parallel resonance. That's what I'm working on. And I thought I already had it tuned a few months back, but I was mistaken. I thought it because I was measuring ground currents, but that was a mistake from my current probe because my current probe also measured currents without being connected to the coils. So I wasn't probing the coils, but I was near the coils with my current probe and I could still see currents. This is probably due to the high voltages of the system and due to the large amounts of displacement current around the coils being induced from the impulses. So that's why I didn't show you a tuning video because I didn't understand it yet. But I made a good step forward and I'm confident that this is going to work. So I want to share it with you and I'll show this with my VR headset. Let's take a look. This is the setup that I've been experimenting with. L3 is my secondary coil and L4 is my extra coil. L3 has a tuning capacitor, which is called C3. And this creates parallel resonance with L3. That's all working. What I want to create is series resonance with L4 and C3. So the energy exchanges between L4 and the C3 capacitor. As this is now, this doesn't work because the L4 has no ground to push against to exchange energy back and forth with the capacitor. And that is why Nikola Tesla used a huge top dome on his Wardenclyffe Tower, which had very large surface area. It created a capacitance with the air around it, where he could push against. Now, I don't use very high voltages, so I don't need to go that way. I can do it easier. What I will do is connect L4 to a very large capacitor, which is also grounded. And I draw a triangle because maybe I will need to use a separate earth ground. This capacitor, let's call it C4 for L4. So this is the grounding capacitor for L4, and it should be very large. For instance, one microfarad. While C3, which is the resonant tuning capacitor, is fairly low. For instance, five or eight or 10 nanofarads. So there's a big difference in size. And this way, L4 can become series resonant with C3, while at the same time, L3 is parallel resonant with C3. And why is that? And that is because here, I want to measure ground currents. Earth ground should be able to be pumped by the resonance system. And that is very interesting to me because Earth itself, being a capacitor with the ionosphere, is part of the resonance system of the universe, with the Sun and all the elements in the universe, which include very large energies. So when this system is being able to couple to the Earth and produce Earth grounds, I can connect to the universal wheelworks that power the universe. And in effect, if I tune this correctly, this should be able to provide external energy to the resonance system, which then should amplify the magnification in this series parallel resonance. And that's where I'm at at this point in time. So it's all about ground currents for me. And this is also what Nikola Tesla talked about. 
I'm not there yet, but I'll keep working until it works and until I fully understand how this works so I can explain it to you. This is all part of my open source research, which is shared on my channel. Take a look, there is a lot more to learn. And if you want to fund me, you can leave a donation on my PayPal account, which is listed below. There's a tiny URL link to my PayPal account. Thank you for donating. If you're already done or intend to do so, it really helps out. And that's it for now. Thank you for watching and see you next time.